Earthquakes in built up areas can be devastating because the buildings collapse and they can have a long term impact on cities. Hi, I'm Graham Burnett. I'm a structural test engineer or mechatronics engineer. We've built this multi-axis structural test facility, or MAST for short, here at Swinburne. Here we can put structures to a test against the simulated earthquake. The MAST is the first of its kind in Australia. The walls and floor are one metre thick and able to withstand enormous pressure. The MAST facility is large enough so that we can test actual building structures like beams, columns, walls, lift wells and bridge piers. The test specimens can be three metres wide and three metres high. Earthquakes can cause buildings to shift, which along with forces like gravity and inertia can cause them to vibrate, which can cause a collapse. So we test what effect these movements can have on structures and materials. Once a test item is bolted or clamped to the crosshead and to the floor, the controlled hydraulics push and pull the arms of the crosshead to apply loads to the specimen. We test not only what the structures will withstand, but we can also increase the intensity to the levels that actually cause collapse, as it is important for us to know the limits of the various structures. The mast applies pressure loads and displacements in three different directions and three different rotations to the test specimen. The largest force that can be applied is the equivalent to the weight of 20 semi-trailers. We take the information we got from testing these individual items and create a computer model to be able to predict the effect on the rest of the building. This process is called hybrid simulation testing because it combines both physical and modelled methods of testing. So with this research we're finding out what building materials and methods are required to make buildings safer in an earthquake. For example, using the mast we found out the failure mechanisms of joints between concrete panels, which has led to improved designs that we are now testing. So hybrid testing facilities like ours can help reduce the effects of earthquakes in the future. So I'd better get back to it.